What's up, everybody? Nate Allball here with Trap Life, part of the Trap Life Clinic and uh, Social here in Champaign, Illinois. Year number two, last year just social, with one of the original Trap Life social guys, Chad Griffin of Hart County High School. Uh, coach, an incredible year. Would you say 12 and 1? 13 and 1? 13 and 1. Yes, sir. They're beating the state semifinals. 13 and 1. What are you going to be talking about tomorrow at the clinic? Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, attacking the edge with uh, jet and rocket with average speed. Now, I've talked to, uh, you know, I've been doing football my whole life. Yes, and we sir. all claim that our kids are small and our kids are slow. But, you know, obviously you don't go 13 and 1 without some pretty special kids, right? Well, you know. It's 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 a culture more than anything, and that's what we're trying to build there is is buying it. But but we do have some guys that can run. Now sure. we don't have four or five guys, you know. Right, but right. but we have guys that are average are average guys. I mean, yeah. you know, some years we don't have average guys, you know. And you got to make do with what you do. And and we've we've been successful with not even having average guys sometimes on on that. So, uh, but but that's what we're going to show. We're, you, you're going to see it. Uh, you're going to see a couple guys that are good, and you're going to see some guys that's average, you know. So, so give us an idea. Like, what's, what's, a key, what's a key to being good at attacking the edge? If it's not just about – right, when we play youth football, being good on the edge is about having a fast kid. Yes, it is. But okay. now you're in high school ball. What's, what, what's the key to being good on the edge? Timing. Timing. Snapping the ball when it's supposed to be snapped. Repetition. Uh, blocking at the point of attack. It's like <laughs> it's, it's, it's simple football to me. You know, you got to win the point of attack somehow and, and give – so, you know, we, we give our kids options out there, but really, truthfully, it's a lot of repetition, a lot of timing. you got to snap the ball when it's time to be snapped. Snap it too early is not a good play. Snap it too late is not a good play. It just takes a lot of repetition, and, and so you'll see that. If you watch the presentation, you'll see it, you know. Now, Coach, you went to Hart County, not a traditional power, right? No, no, I, and, and now here you guys come. Um, I've just clearly got it rolling. You're, you're a load right now. When you – that's a rewarding process. Absolutely. Give give me an idea of some people that have been along the side along there alongside of you that have that you're like, okay, yeah, uh, it's a big deal. It, I'm in charge of it. Clearly, a ton of it is credit to you. But who else has been there? They're like, man, this is, this has been hard, and it'd be harder to do without these guys. Absolutely. So you know, first of all, I want you to, to give you an idea of what we've done. 52 years of football. And they had only had one. Well, in 2018, we won seven games. That was the most games that ever been won there. Wow. 52 years last year, we won our first playoff game ever. Hmm. Last year. And this year, we go 13 1 and get beat, by, get beat two points, literally on a last second play, a chance to win a game right. to go to state finals. Uh, you know, we went 9 and 3 last year, 6 and 5 the year before that. So it's something that's been coming. But when you look back, and trust me, we do, because I got some guys that have been with me through my thick and thin. Uh, they, truthfully, the head coach I took over for, he's on my staff, and no he's been a biggest support for me. He's here today, you know, Anthony Boone, Coach Boone. He's been he's been a big supporter. You know, he told me when I took the job, Coach, is not a powerhouse, man. We don't we don't know how to win here. Uh, and then a guy by the name of Marcus Cowherd who's been with me through – He's been my ride or die since day one. I mean, he's done defense. He, he read the Teb Tubby Raymond book. He, it's it's, it's kind of like I've, I've converted him to Catholicism as far as the wing <laughs> team. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, but he's a football guy, and, and he's been with me. Literally, he's been with me every step of the way. He says all the time, Coach, all those nights we spent on the phone after a game trying to figure it out, this is what it's about. And, and it is. And, 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 and not even that. My principal, Greg Cecil, who – hired me and has stuck with me and even through the two and eight years you know this is what we talked about uh, mm -hmm. so my wife I, there's just so much goes into it my son who left college football with skip holtz who's now with me mm. who does our social media and d-line there's a lot that goes into it and you can contest it this as well as i do coaching football anymore yes x's and o's are great but it's buy-in from everybody else and and it's buy-in about the wing tee it's buy-in about just everything, the, the, the little things you do from this culture stuff to going under midnight and driving a sled for 2,000 yards, you know, that's little stuff like that that everybody's bought into. Our community came and watched us drive a sled for 2,000 yards at midnight on, Jan on July 10th of this season. So it's all that stuff that's been great to see happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I had another question, but now i got to know about this drive the sled for 2,000 yards. This is an event? So I got this from you. Uh, the uh, Oh, what's his name from uh, – Oh, Goncharov? Yes. So watch the thing. He's talking about driving a sled. I'm like, man, you know, that's a culture thing. Yeah. You know, you, it, it, you know, I, some teams do things on Monday, and and uh, so I thought, you know, we started in spring, 
and we, we do a thing called toughness. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, even if you're in school lifting, you have to uh, come out and, and we do toughness. We flip tires, carry center blocks, pull sleds, mm -hmm. and then at the end of it, we drive the sled as a mm. team. Quarterbacks, I don't care what you are. Yeah. And we start out with 500 yards. And But by the end of toughness, which goes five weeks before, before spring ball starts, we want to go to 2,000 yards. And uh, what I did realize, and not taking anything away from them, doing it on turf is a lot easier doing it on tall grass. <laughs> so, uh, but we, we, so anyway, I thought, you know what? We're going to open the season this year at Midnight Madness, and we're going to drive the sled. That's all we're going to do. We're not going to do any X's and O's. We're just going to drive the sled. And, and our kids bought into that, man. Yeah. And, and so now on Mondays, you know, it takes 15 games to get to state, play, to, to the, to state finals for us. So we drive at 1,500 yards every Monday. Wow. Yeah, so it's, it's become, it's become and, and I can't tell you how many coaches I had in Kentucky, you know, when we go to 7-on-7 seven seven or playing them, like, you know, our kids need a little bit of midnight madness, what Hart County's doing, to make them tougher. And, and you know, listen, I, I can't make it up. He talked about uh, setting garbage cans up down the, down the field. Mm -hmm. Listen, we had burn spots in our turf field, I mean, in our uh, Bermuda field where they were throwing up. I mean, 2,000 yards is a long yeah. way. Yeah, But we did it in 45 minutes. So... That, that, it's just a culture thing, and it's a culture of a three-back system, of being physical, we're going to run the ball, we're going to get off the ball, and, and that's what it's about, man. And, and listen, we'll do it, as long as I'm coaching football, we'll do it wherever I'm at. Now, the, um, I always say, I mean, the truth is, I, I just went down to Alabama in January, yep, and yep. man, I ran in some offensive, I mean, incredible offensive Absolutely, lines. Yes. The reality is, there's a lot of offenses that work. They really do, right? So, uh, and I never would tell somebody that my offense is the best. But what is it about going to a three-back offense that you think really helped you turn Hart County? Well, so I came from a bigger school. Well, and we were sitting over talking, you know, Clay McKee, you're going to hear him speak. Yeah. He's from Scott County, who was a big, like, 6A school. Like, I was at it. I was the OC at Central Harden. And we were a wing team school there, too. We didn't have a lot of uh, athletes, like, the, like Bowling Greens or Mel High Schools in Kentucky. And, and – uh, you, you just look at what we call county ball. I don't know what you guys, but we call county ball. Mm -hmm. you, you run the ball, you play defense, you control offense. Offensively, I want to keep the ball away from you. So when I went to Hart, I knew we weren't going to have – I couldn't hang my hat on throwing the ball. You know, I just didn't have the guys you can run quick screens with. And, and I'm sure you can do it. But to me, it just seemed like a whole lot. And I've been a wing tee guy my whole life. And I just feel like that with everything we do with formations and motions and – pre-snap motions and all the stuff that we do and everything looking the same, it, it just gives us an advantage. And, uh, you know, and I and my son said it to me the other day, you know, he said, Dad, watching, we went to the clinic last weekend in Kentucky, and he said, watching those guys, they got great big highlights. Like, you watch us, it's five yards. It's four yards. It's three yards. And we're, we're, we're death by a thousand slices. And I love it. I'm okay with that. If we're three yards, you don't see, I'm happy. And, uh, that's kind of made us who we are. And, and to be truthful, what you asked about earlier is everybody buying into that part of it. And we got some kids on film right now that if you watch this, you think, man, you can run a quick screen or you can run a go. Sure. But year in and year out, I don't have those guys. Sure. You know, so it's a mentality. And, and, I, and our kids have bought into it. Yeah. You know. Well, Coach, we can't wait to hear from you tomorrow. Thank you for being here. Hey, I want to say thank you to you. Seriously, this is great. Watching it, it, watch it grow from last year. And I think every year you're going to get more. And – People want to say we're dinosaurs, but we're not. Because if you want to go out there and look, there's more people coming to our side now than there is on the other side. <laughs> I mean, there's good football being played. There really is. I, mean, I love being a part of it. All right, Coach, thanks for being here. Yes, sir. Thank you.